Ladies and gentlemen, William Samoe Arapruto, the President of the Republic of Kenya, is expected to embark on a five-day tour of the mountain. William Ruto is expected to tour Kiambu County, Kirinyaga County, Muranga County, and Nyeri County. Basically, William Ruto is expected in the Kikuyu Nation, the heart of Mount Kenya, for five good days. The development tour begins tomorrow on Saturday, 5th August 2023. The president will kick off the tour in Gidurai, Kiambu County, uh, where he'll commission the Gidurai Water Supply Project. Uh, the project will supply about 35,000 cubic meters uh, of water per day uh, to serve over 500,000 residents uh, of Ruiru, Gidurai, Muihoko, and Kahawa, and will provide water connections to about 8,400 people. Also on Saturday, President Ruto will commission the redevelopment of Kedurai Market. Later on Saturday, the Head of State will commission the Kagio Water Supply Project in Kagio Town, Kirinyaga County. He will also commission uh, the upgrade of the 42.5 kilometer uh, Marua Kwawambui Road. And if you ask me, the visit by William Samara Proto is significant politically speaking for several reasons. Number one, this visit is coming at a time when there's the talk of Raila Odinga and William Ruto's handshake. Raila Odinga and William Ruto were the main presidential candidates in the last election. The mountain rejected Raila Odinga and voted for William Samuel Ruto to the last man. Number two, it's also coming at a time when William Ruto almost succeeded in his hostile takeover of Jubilee Party. As we speak, Jeremiah Kioni and Uru Kenyatta are actually clinging to just a court order. Number three, it's also significant because it's coming at a time when the popularity of William Ruto and Kenya Kwanza in general, in the entire country, and specifically in the mountain, was coming down. And lastly, it's also coming at a time when Uhuru Kenyatta's family are under attack by Kenya Kwanza government. Remember this, their security were withdrawn, the other day you saw Uhuru Kenyatta's son being raided. The other day you saw what happened to their farm. So the visit is significant, politically speaking. But the biggest question is, why do you think William Ruto is going to stay in the mountain for five good days? On the tour that the president is doing in Mount Kenya region, I want to say that it's not a development tour. Because yesterday I was going through what he's going to launch in Mount Kenya. I, I'm sure uh, uh, projects he, he's going to launch, he doesn't even know how they were constructed by President Uru Mugai Kenyatta. One of the projects is uh, Yedurai Market. Yedurai Market was constructed, completed, Hata Ikapakorangi. And that's the project he's going to launch. He's also going to launch uh, um, Marwa State Road. Marwa State Road was completed out February 2021 and have been in use for the last one year. That is another project that he's going to launch. So when the president was doing campaign for the last three years, uh, the project that President Huru Mwegai was building in our region, that is now the project that they are going to launch. You remember they, were, uh, they, they, they had uh, those outbursts telling our people that Hatukuli Barabara on those periods, but those are the roads now they are going to launch. So I want to tell President William Ruto, if he's going to, uh, for a development tour in Mount Kenya, he should go for a serious development tour, launching his own project, building his own project, and delivering to the people of Mount Kenya the way he, uh, he, he promised them. We should not ride on the projects that President Uhuru Mwegai Kenyatta did. S having said that, he's also going for a, uh, it's a, it's a, a damage control tour. There are people in Mount Kenya, there are voices in Mount Kenya who are questioning their sanity to have voted William Samoy Ruto because of what is happening in Mount Kenya. You remember our region, like I was in uh, Madeira uh, uh, two days ago, mm -hmm. had gone to visit a friend who had some issues uh, with the families. And uh, in Madeira region, uh, that is a place whereby those people, they depend on the, their cash crop is coffee. The coffee there was around 120 shillings. Right now, the coffee there is around 60 shillings. One year down the line. In this video, I want to give you the hidden reasons why William Ruto will be in the mountain for five good days. Before we do that, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click that subscribe button, so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. Because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. Now, without any further ado, let us dive in. But before we dive in, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to thank the following people for the coffee which they actually sent to me earlier today. You can also do the same using the numbers 
on your screen. Remember today is a Friday, so I might not do coffee, I might do the other thing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let us uh, now dive in. William Ruto is expected in uh, Mount Kenya tomorrow. He will actually go by road. He will leave State House, begin with Gidu, Gidu, Gidurai, head to Kenol. Then he will then embark on the journey. On Sunday, William Ruto will be at Sagana State Lodge where he will be meeting. Actually, I think he's going to offer prayers. That's where prayers will take place. But why do you think William Ruto is going to the mountain for five good days? Number one, in my view, is the issue of the handshake between Raila Odinga and William Ruto. William Ruto will have to explain to the mountain why that handshake is important. I'm saying this because the mountain rejected Huru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga's handshake. And how will William Ruto then convince them to support the current handshake? So that is something which I know is going to be one of the main agendas during that particular trip. And William Ruto probably will have an answer to it. Let us agree that without Mount Kenya, William Ruto is a nobody, politically speaking. He doesn't have numbers without Mount Kenya. And if the mountain will be able to slip because of the handshake with Raila Odinga, given a choice, William Ruto would not support the handshake. And that's why I want to advise Raila Odinga and the Zimio Lamoja brigades that do not waste your time with that bipartisan talks. Do not waste your time so you with the, the, the forming the dialogue team. It's a complete waste of time. William Ruto's moves will be dependent on the political situation in the mountain. And that's what is going to get from the ground beginning tomorrow. So for me, that's the first reason why William Ruto is in the mountain, to gauge the reaction of the mountain as far as a possibility of a handshake with the Raluringa is concerned. So that's important. Number two, William Ruto is also going to the mountain to try and revive the hustler versus dynasty narrative. The truth of the matter is that William Ruto had lost the hustler and the dynasty narrative. He had lost it. And I'm sure one thing he's going to do is that by going there, he's, he's going to try to drag the name of Uru Kenyatta. Because, you know, William Ruto went to the mountain, convinced the mountain that their problems were as a result of Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga. Because these gentlemen were dynasties. Now he's the president. There are some of the things he told these people he was going to do, he has not yet done. And that hustler narrative was dead now already. So he has to revive the hustler narrative. Because if William Ruto cannot revive the hustler narrative, he cannot convince Mama Mbogas down there that the policies we are creating are for you, that the taxes which we have increased are going to benefit you, I can tell you, is going to be in problem. I'm told there is a, prob a big problem in the coffee sector. I'm not so well conversant with the coffee sector, but I'm told when Uru Kenyatta left, I think farmers used to get, a, I think, 120. Currently, they get 60, which is almost lower, half than what you, they used to get before. So he will have to go and explain to them that because Uru Kenyatta did this, 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 that's why we are facing this. But I also know for sure that William Ruto is a shrewd politician, so he might be able to navigate. But the issue of the revival of the hustler narrative versus dynasty narrative is on top of William Ruto's agenda in the mountain. Number three, if you ask anybody from the mountain at the moment, they will agree with you that William Ruto's popularity in the mountain is reducing or was reducing at an alarming rate. And that's why William Ruto is going to the mountain. In fact, William Ruto's popularity had started going down not only in the mountain, almost across the republic. And that's why they were concerned when Raila Odinga called for that mandamano and the rest of the country were joining. Then how do they deal with that dwindling popularity? Because William Ruto needs the mountain. The, the popularity reduction is actually occasioned by several factors. One of them is the state of economy. Remember, the state of economy of the Republic of Kenya was so dear. As a matter of fact, right now, things are easing up a bit because Kenyans are harvesting. So William Ruto need to go and tell the people that, okay, things were bad. When we came, Unga was, one, was 230 or how much. Right now, you can get uh, two 
kg of uh, ile gorogoro moja ya mahindi at uh, sit 80 bob or 100 bob so here we love to tell those people that the other issue is the issue of the finance bill has also made this government very unpopular and uh, again remember the point i told you trying to to draw a wedge between the hustler and the, the dynasty william ruto will attempt to justify the the finance bill especially the taxes by telling them that majority of people who are working will bear the the burden not you ordinary kenyan who are on on the street here and of course because majority of kenyans are not employed they will feel comfortable and lastly william ruto made promises to the mountain and some of those promises are yet to be fulfilled and that ex that's explain the video i played up there william ruto is going to launch projects which were initially launched or have been ongoing initiated during uru kenyatta's government so he will have to tell them that i'm not just empty promises number four william ruto is also going with the agenda of development you know development is one of the easiest agenda to go with so just identify a project like i've seen william ruto will launch several water projects and i remember the last time he was in uh, was it in vihiga where he launched a water project that water project is something which had been there so he just went and launched it again i'm sure probably at least for being the cabinet secretary they might have worked on a project here and there which the previous government had completed probably because what i know and this is what most kenyans are telling ruto that you have your budget we want to see new roads but the fact is william ruto is going there on the account of development because remember politics i've always told you is a perceptional game the way it is perceived so if it will be, it will be perceived that ruto is working the better for him but if that perception will be that he's not working i can tell you problem and lastly i think ruto is also going to the mountain to review his post azimio demos how did they affect the ordinary kenyan remember mount kenya had actually started joining the demos until the government had to intervene so ruto is going there he's going to explain to the mountain you know you know if you don't do this you should not fall for that mtu wa kitenda wili so let us wait and see how all these things are actually going to unfold thank you guys and may you have a good day bye bye